Blog Talk Radio. You're listening to The Limo Show, presented by Town Livery. And here's your host, David Bastion. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Limo Show. Coming to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week via the World Wide Web. My name is David Bastian, your host, bringing you the limo show to you on Blog Talk Radio. I encourage anyone out there that's listening to the live stream to call the limo show hotline anytime during the show. If you have any questions for myself or our guest tonight, you can reach us at the limo show hotline at 714-868-0786. That's 714-868-0786. 0786. Tonight, we will be discussing the 2013 Lincoln MKT Town Car, which is set to arrive in Lincoln Dealer Showrooms within a few months. I find this to be an exciting time. Uh, the future of the limousine industry is, is, on, its way, uh, is uh, on its way to the showrooms, and I believe the new product offering will end up being successful over time uh, because it does offer far more features and amenities to your customers over the previous model. These features may not interest you that are going to be in this vehicle standard, but most likely will catch the attention of your customers. I want to share some facts with you, and I was searching around online and looking for information for tonight's show. And one of the things that I found is business travelers today demand more. They have higher expectations uh, than they had in the past when they're on the road. And uh, when I was searching around, I found a survey online that was conducted by Delawatt, an independent research company. This survey focused on the hotel industry and the expectations that are being placed on this industry by Generation X and Y. The survey found that amenities played a key role in the overall hotel experience, with 6 out of 10 respondents, 61%, expecting more from hotels with regards to amenities and services. 77% of the business travelers surveyed indicated that complimentary Internet was very important to them, and 63% are satisfied with the availability of free Wi-Fi in hotels. Today's business travel force is strongly represented by a younger and more tech-savvy traveler. Generation X and Y business travelers are much more likely to use technology when traveling for business while many baby boomers are less so. These travelers feel the need to always be connected and carry many diff- and they carry many different types of electronic gadgets while traveling with them to help them stay productive when they're out of the office. Now, with these expectations being so high, uh, and, and they, are, they are very high, it's extremely important for the limousine industry to have available in their vehicles similar technology to help meet the demands of today's business travelers. Our guest tonight has previously been on our show. His show back in April uh, had 8,000 listeners listen to the show uh, between Blog Talk Radio and YouTube. So we felt it was very important to bring him back. I'd like to welcome to the limo show, Jerry Koss from Ford Motor Company. And Jerry is the commercial Fleet Manager. Jerry, welcome to the Limo Show. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Yeah. Glad to be joining you again. Yeah. We're happy to have you back. Now, Jerry, last time when you visited the Limo Show, uh, you were limited on information you were able to share with listeners at the time. Uh, the opinion of the MKT town car at the time was much more negative within the industry. Uh, in the last few months, it appears that the feeling in the industry has drastically changed for the better. Uh, since its introduction at last year's LCT show. What type of feedback are you now getting for the limousine industry now that the dust has settled? Well, let me first say that we were not surprised by the initial feedback by the industry, and uh, we understood. Uh, This is an industry that, um, I I guess I'm going to say, I don't want to say it's resistant to change, but it, it likes stability in in there and and 
in many of these that I work with, product change is difficult. But uh, so, so the initial feedback we received, we understood and we expected some of it. But what we felt, Dave, was our de- during the development process, meeting with the industry and end user customers and such, when we did our research, they said that the MKT town car, the concept vehicle that we took to them, was they, uh, their acceptance of that was actually greater than the executive L that it replaced. So our feeling was over time, as they saw the vehicle more, understood what we were doing, the industry would become more accepting of the product. And, and that has, what, has been what, what's occurred at the various shows we've gone to, out in California and on the East Coast and such, every show we've been, as it, they see the product for the second or the third time, their acceptance level grows tremendously. And I'm also experiencing that uh, with uh, the callers that are calling me uh, on a daily basis asking about vehicles, and they're constantly asking me, Dave, should I just buy that town car from you now, or you know, should I wait for that MKT? So. It's, it's, I definitely feel that the mood is changing, and uh, I'm excited about the future. Now, the order banks for the 2013 Lincoln MKT town car are now, are now open, and uh, right. our dealership is taking orders uh, today uh, for the front-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive model. When right. can the listeners expect these models to be available in dealer showrooms? Well, production is uh, scheduled to begin the uh, latter part of February, right now and so after a period of time after production it'll go through the quality checks make sure everything is okay before we ship but i would expect uh, shipment to begin sometime in the mid march mid to third week of march period of time so it's really right around the corner and that's exciting i noticed when i was ordering some of our inventory that two engines will be available uh, the 3.7-liter right. engine, and the gasoline turbocharged direct injection EcoBoost engine, uh, which will be featured on the front-wheel drive. Uh, the all-wheel drive will feature the 3.7. Right. Why did Ford choose to offer two different engines to the, li- to the limo livery industry? Well, it's, it's part of our overall strategy in, in regards to engine downsizing. And uh, with EcoBoost technology – you're able to deliver six-cylinder performance with four-cylinder powertrains or V8 performance with six-cylinder powertrains. And so we understood that it was a change in the industry to go from what has traditionally been, especially with the uh, Executive L sedan, from a V8 to a V6. And so we felt we had to, wanted to have a vehicle that offered comparable or even better performance, obviously from a fuel economy standpoint, with the 3.7 liter. But we also understand that fuel price, fuel costs are a large part of the, um, you know, the customer's uh, expenses in this business. And so we wanted to give them the chance to experience EcoBoost technology in smaller displacements to you know, put a few in their fleet or test it out and get comfortable with it by and offering them a more, even more fuel efficient powertrain. EcoBoost technology, and you mentioned this a few minutes ago, offers more for less. Lincoln, right. I was looking at my order guide and it looks like Lincoln's anticipating that 75% of the Lincoln MKT town cars uh, that the dealers are going to order and sell are, will be the front wheel drive configuration that features this engine, uh, the two the uh, two liter GTDI engine, which will be featured in the front wheel drive model, uh, is new, and it's right. been in the European market since I I believe 2009. Uh, why was the GTDI EcoBoost engine chosen to be the engine of choice for the front wheel drive model? Well, there was only one other engine that was available in the lineup, you know, in the MKT lineup, and you have to have engine commonality with platforms and such. And so the only other engine that would have been available was the 3.7 liter or 3.5 liter GTDI, 
And of course, that one delivers horsepower of approximately 365. And in our discussions with the industry, they said they don't need that type of performance. But the one thing that constantly came up, and we have to recognize also that when we were doing the research you know, a few years ago, that was a time of high fuel prices also. So the demand for more fuel-efficient powertrains we heard loud and clear during that time. So that's why we decided to go with the two-liter engine. Now, again, fuel prices have declined since that time. So, um, you know, the, the direction of what they move on might be different than it was two years ago, but if you read everything out there, it's anticipated that fuel prices are going to continue to increase over the next two years. And so we just wanted to make that engine available for operators, again, who wanted a more fuel-efficient engine. And I believe they will go up. With the increase in green initiatives uh, that are being placed on the limo livery industry, how does the EcoBoost engine help operators meet the demands of making their fleets greener? First of all, I mean, it, it, it depends on the emissions, but the big, the big element that it's um, – the government is focusing on is, of course, greenhouse gas emissions. And greenhouse gas emissions are a direct result of the burning of, of fuel, carbon, uh, you know, carbon in the fuel. So the more fuel efficient you can make the powertrains, the less greenhouse gases those vehicles will emit. And so, again, as you improve fuel economy on the uh, powertrains, you are in a sense, reducing your business's overall greenhouse gas emissions. Some of the operators I've spoken to, and I've mentioned the EcoBoost engine being in there, they voiced some concern to me over the increased power that the engine will offer, or it's, it may offer over the 4.6 liter. Um, they have concerns that their drivers uh, may abuse this increased power and create unsafe driving situations. Uh, and I, I just want to ask you this. Will the MKT Town Car have available the uh, smart key option? If it does, can you tell us about this feature and how it possibly could be used uh, in the limo livery industry to encourage safe driving practices? The vehicles do have, I guess, if you're referring to smart key, if you're referring to the MyKey technology, Dave. Yes, MyKey. Yeah. Yes, the vehicles are equipped with the MyKey technology, and there are ways that you can program the vehicle, for an example, such as limiting top speed that the vehicle can, can go, thus, you know, again, capping the vehicle from perhaps operating at a less fuel-efficient, um, uh, you know, less fuel-efficient operation. So the, the vehicles will have the, the MyKey technology, and if the, the business wants to establish parameters for vehicle operation through the, the MyKey application, they certainly can do that. Jerry, this is all great stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to head off to a break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to focus on the new technology that the MKT Town Car has available, and we're going to talk about some of the needs uh, and some of the feedback you've gotten from business travelers uh, when you've done your research during product development of this product. You are listening to the Limo Show presented by Town Livery here on Blog Talk Radio. Now is the time to get on board. If you have any questions for Jerry Koss, Ford Fleet Marketing Manager, or myself, you can reach us at 714-868-0786. That's 714-868-0786. When we come back, we will open the phone lines to you. You are listening to the Limo Show here on Blog Talk Radio. Would you like a marketing partner that not only understands marketing, but knows the transportation industry inside and out? Are you struggling to attract new customers, retain your current customers, or win back lost customers? If you find yourself saying yes to any of these questions, there's only one place to call. Call the marketing wizard of the limousine industry, Arthur Messina from Create a Card. Create a Card is the number one supplier of business cards, marketing supplies, and promo items to the limousine industry of North America. Contact Create a Card today at 1-800-753-6867. That's 
753-6867 so they can help transform your marketing and advertising into consistent sales generating machines. You can also find us on the web at createacardinc.com. That's createacardinc.com. Are you looking to add an Executive L Town Car to your fleet? If you are, call Town Livery. Town Livery is a franchise board, Lincoln, Chrysler, and BMW dealer that specializes in selling livery vehicles nationwide. Town Livery is located in Buffalo, New York, and is able to ship your vehicle to you at an affordable price. So, when you think of livery vehicles, think of Town Livery. Town Livery can be reached at 800 730 3683 that's 800-730-3683 one stop shopping at town livery you're listening to the limo show on blog talk radio Welcome back. You are listening to the Limo Show presented by Town Livery for 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Blog Talk Radio. We have Jerry Koss, Ford Fleet Marketing Manager, with us tonight, and we're discussing the all-new 2013 Lincoln MKT Town Car. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 714-868-0786. That's 714-868-0786. Jerry. Let's talk about some of the changes uh, that have occurred with the MKT Town Car product since we last talked. Give us an update on, on how everything is uh, moving forward and any other new features that you couldn't talk about before. Well, I, I, I think that, you know, you work on this so much, it's almost hard, Dave, to remember what, what we have announced back six months ago or eight months ago because, of course, we do it in phases. But I think the the, the most exciting part, that we that we have for the industry is there is a tremendous amount of new technology that has come into the industry you know over the past few years let's put it that way or even over the past 5 years and unfortunately because the uh the executive L platform was dated much of this technology could not be brought into that and you know, I just you know, we talked about EcoBoost for an example. That's one example of technology that's coming in that provides an, a benefit of uh, enhanced fuel economy. But then you get to the other ones, such as lane departure warning. It, you know, we never announced, but lane departure warning is a new feature that's coming into our vehicle into our vehicles. And basically, lane departure warning is ident- identifies if perhaps a driver is becoming drowsy or Steering in an un, what I would say in an unnatural weaving or what have have you, and it warns the driver that they are operating in that way, and hopefully helps them, you know, return back to normal driving operation or safe driving operation. We have blind spot information system, so you're sitting there. These the the drivers are in their cars full, you know, full days, long times, and so the ability to provide a monitoring system to let them know if somebody is in their blind spot, you know, through a warning in the the side view mirror is a benefit to them from a safety standpoint. Those are a couple of examples that we have there. For the uh, end user customers, you started talking about the amenities that we have. And in the rear seat of the vehicle, we'll have a covered PowerPoint section that will have a USB port. 110 volt inverter and a 12 volt built in so they can if they're in the vehicle for an extended period of time or such charge their uh, cell phone you know um, items like that by having those types of features in the vehicle today navigation is going to be standard on the vehicles so uh, you know that's another feature we know navigation is an important feature and so it's going to, we're making it standard on there another one rear view camera you know, they're they're driving in the vehicles, they're there all the time. Backing up is something that they, you know, uh, can be difficult in, in certain conditions. So providing the rear view camera not only makes it safer, it can reduce damage to the vehicle in the event of a, 
a miner hitting a pole or something like that. And of course, it's been out for years, but we have the uh, uh, the Lincoln Sync voice activated communication entertainment 911 assist package that will be available in the vehicles also. Those are many of the things that we're offering that we couldn't offer on the prior model. What's great about this vehicle too is standard will be the 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 availability of creating the wireless internet hotspot, which was one of the things I talked about in the beginning of the show and how important it is to business travelers when they're in hotels because uh, they do want to stay connected. Uh, like I mentioned before, the day's business traveler they kind of set the bar up, up much higher than the previous generation, and they do not have that same loyalty uh, that the previous generation had. And uh, these companies or travelers at times are willing to uh, find a company uh, that meets their needs regardless of the price. I had a customer, Jerry, uh, that purchased some vehicles for me uh, the, last month, and they they were kind of in a quandary because they were deciding, should I buy town cars now or should I buy an MKT town car? Uh, they ended up going with the MKT the town cars now because they had current needs to meet, uh, and that's why they chose to go with it. But what was kind of clouding their decision was the fact that they had received a request from an entertainer that was in town uh, doing a concert, and the request from the management in that you know from that entertainer's management was that the entertainer needed to have a vehicle that had that wireless hotspot uh the company that was doing the work didn't have a vehicle so what they did was they went out and found an SUV that had it rented it and they were able to meet the demand to to take care of that customer when you did your your market research in dealing with with some of these celebrities and high-profile business travelers. Give me some feedback. Did they uh, stress to Ford uh, these, the same importance of having that technology? Well, remember that we were doing this two or three years ago. So as te technology has changed since that time, so we had to kind of forecast what was going to be trends that would occur in the future that may not be present at the present time. But I just want to point out, this came up at a show we attended oh, probably two years ago, and there was a presentation at the show of features and technologies that they felt would become more important or requirements for future vehicles. And sitting through one of the, the discussion, of course, was on the technology part, the availability, the ability to access Wi-Fi was felt to be the number one item in the future that would be demanded or desired, I probably should say, by customers moving forward. So I guess we, that's why we attend the conferences. Our, our, our reason for attending the conferences isn't just to show our vehicles off. It's also so we can learn by participating in the con, you know, the, the the discussions and the panel sessions and everything, because that, again, is part of our research process, listening to the experts in the industry and understanding what they feel the direction the industry is going to move towards. Jerry, will Sirius Travel Link uh, be available on the Lincoln MKT Town Car? Well, Sirius is going to be available on the vehicle, yes. What's nice about the Sirius Travel Link is it allows you to basically have like a, a concierge in your car, concierge service available in your vehicle. Um, if you have a customer, let's say, and this is for the listeners out there, Jerry knows, knows this, but if you have a customer that's traveling to Buffalo, New York, and let's say they're coming from Florida, and they're wondering what the weather is like right now, uh, what's nice about this technology is it can the driver uh, can pull the current, a current radar image up of the weather uh, in Buffalo in real time. And uh, let's say, for example, you have a customer that arrives in your town and they're wondering what the five-day weather forecast will be like. What's nice about that travel link, too, is is the customer we will be able to pull up, or the driver will be able to pull up for the customer a five-day forecast. Uh, there's other features that I like, uh, the stock quotes, sports scores, movie listings, um, and, you know, all those things, I think, 
give that extra added service. Jerry, will you be available at the LCT show to answer any questions about this product? Absolutely. I'll be arriving. I'll be there for the start of the show and uh, be there. And um, my, not only myself, but Brad Roney and Kim Johnson and our engineering team with uh, Jim Murray, who has just been an integral part of the development of the, you know, our new vehicles. Uh, this, the development of our next generation limousine and livery vehicles was not done just a singular individual. It was a total team that worked on it in terms of getting the voice of the customer, going out and working with the, the suppliers, taking a look at what the industry needed from a reliability, durability standpoint, and making sure that this vehicle would be as good or, more importantly, in many cases, better than the model it was replacing. And that was our objective, and we truly believe that we've delivered on that. I, I, I believe in it. I agree with everything you're saying. I'm looking forward to the next few months and the introduction of the product. Um, you can tell them my, you know, every, every time you and I have talked about it, whether we're on the air or on the phone or I see you in person, I'm excited about it, and I truly believe it's going to be successful. Like I tell customers every day, you know, because I, on a daily basis, I'll, I'll get people, you know, in the industry tell me, yeah, you know what, maybe I'll look at a Toyota. Maybe I'll look at a Hyundai Equus. Maybe I'll look at a Chrysler. Um, bottom line is when you do your research and you, and you look at the, the specs, uh, between all those vehicles. What it'll come down to and, and what I think livery operators are finding out is the Lincoln MKT in some cases may not have been their first choice, but in the end I believe it's the best choice and the best vehicle that'll suit the needs of the industry. We went in to make it the best vehicle for the industry and I think that everybody has to look at and I know it's difficult sometimes, but I, this is not a simply a retail product that is being marketed as a livery vehicle. It's it, other than the shell or you know the, the the sheet metal around it. This vehicle has been gone through from ground up to turn it into what we feel is the best livery product. And Ford Motor Company has dedicated engineering teams, service teams, a marketing team to support the industry on that. So I, I guess I, I I feel that not only are we delivering the best product for the industry, but I also think we have the best team that supports the industry in helping them with their business objectives. No doubt about it. I feel some of the other manufacturers have kind of showed up and said, here we are, and uh, they haven't put the time to develop it. And I think in the end that the quality will speak for itself. Now, one of the things that we did not mention tonight, Jerry, uh, the new look. Can you tell us quickly before we go about the new look on the 2013 uh, Lincoln MKT Town Car? It's not drastic, but it does have a new look. Yes, it, it does. I mean, we like to call it evolutionary and not revolutionary. And basically, what we've done is taken the look and I, I don't want to, maybe the word I would use is is soften it up, make, make it more a little bit more elegant in its appearance through finishes and design and everything. And, and we feel the new look really complements. I mean, the exterior new look really, really complements the unique interior that we have in the livery product. So we're very pleased with the, the new look exterior. And like I say, feel that we have the total package with, with both exterior and interior. Jerry, is there anything else you want to leave us with before you go? Well, I, I look forward. I hope that the uh, uh, individuals either on the phone, and we're really, really looking forward to the, uh, the show in February. We're going to have a, a good display of livery products, and our QVM uh, builders, we've provided them with um, early build units, and so we're going to have a great complement of both the livery products on display and limousine products on display. And I know we focus uh, much on the livery in many of these discussions because of the interior amenities and different things like that. But I just think that the limousine vehicle is outstanding with its high roof line, easier ingress, egress to get forward aft. I, th I just think that's a fantastic vehicle and it's just going to be wonderful for that segment of the business. 
I agree. At the uh, El- the Limo Digest show in November, it was a big hit. So, right. Jerry, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thanks. I anytime, Dave. I'm I'm more than happy to talk to the listeners and anything we can do to to help get our message out and help this industry out. That's what we want to do. Okay, Jerry. We'll see you at the show. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this wraps up this edition of the Limo Show presented by Town Livery here on Blog Talk Radio. Thank you again for listening to the Limo Show here on Blog Talk Radio. We appreciate the time that you have taken to listen to our program. The Limo Show comes to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week here on Blog Talk Radio. So we encourage you to tune in and listen. Have a wonderful week. And I look forward to speaking with you on the next edition of the Limo Show. Good night.